어, 어. Screwing the back cap. Only about 13 minutes to assemble this. Dad? Took us only 13 minutes or so. And that's what the pedals. No, to go up, it's these. Look, look at, look, Dad. The pedals are not on correctly. They never did get put on properly because they got cross threaded. You got it pressed, Steve. You have to turn the throttle all the way to have it on electric. So it doesn't even work until you pull it all the way? Yeah. So you can go pull See what I'm saying? Okay, so. Look, well, um, now it's not. You if you want to use the throttle, you have to first push the button to activate the throttle it's some kind of a safety uh throttle and uh that's about it let me see what it feels like to use now sometimes it gets stuck so the one thing i don't like is that if you're on full power um the throttle works on full power but if you want to pedal at number one or two or three or four anything lower than full power you also lose that power on the throttle i would like to have uh full power on the throttle at all times so that's kind of a big blunder there that's not something that i condone it's not practical it's it's garbage design it's an idiotic system the seat is pretty comfortable it's got a handle in the back display is decent it goes up to it's five speeds the battery looks like if they shipped it with the full battery, I wouldn't do that. That's not sure why they would ship it with the full battery. That doesn't make sense. It's bad for the battery. The bell sucks. I'm not sure how to get the light to work. So there's an M for power, which doesn't really make sense. And the throttle is, the throttle is one of those half throttle type things. And this is a safety switch to disable it. The steering lock is very nice, solid and fairly simple it has this locking ring for safety so that you can't unlock it when this is in there but it's kind of hard to open it actually you almost have to use a tool for that the nice thing about the bike it was super easy to put together 